back, Heads101 here today. This is a dash code tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to make a Google search widget. Now, you're going to be doing this with dash code, which comes and installs with Xcode. You can quick find it. And here's dash code. The first time it'll open up, it'll be under web application. You just want to click dashboard widget, and then click custom, then click choose and for the first time you open it it'll come up looking something like this you want to open up layout interface if it's not already open and we can design our interface I'm, I don't like this label here so I'll click it and delete it so now when you've had layout interface selected you have to click library then under parts you're gonna want to drag on two things the search field and the button so I'll just find the button. Okay. So now, yeah. So we drag the button up right here. Search field up. We'll resize this later, I guess. Doesn't matter if it's ugly. It's just a test application. Let's just resize it. and let's double click this button and make it say search now we wanna right click on this button so we'll control click on the button the search button go to events on click I'll call it my click handler and so now under code we wanna find get text field text So I'll just search that. Search that. Text field text, and we want to drag it in here to this my click area. Yeah, my click handler. By the way, I will have all this code in um in a link in the description. So um. If you have any problems with this code, um, you can't find it or whatever, just click the link in the dis this description. I'll take you to a website with the code. So now right here, we see right here under Untitled Front, we have Search Field, which is the name of this. Right there, you can see it right here on the side. And Glass Button. So this is called Search Field and this is called glass button as you can see indicated right here so this is official name of search field and glass button so now we want to set this text field value equals document dot get element ID from the code we dragged in from the library under code we want to change element ID to be the name of the search field so in this case it was named search field as I just went over so we do that. Okay, now the text field value. We're going to want to change text field value dot value to search field value dot value. Okay, so this is great. So right here, we've gotten the text field value, and that's what it's called now. So now we want to hit enter, and under the library, which we got to once again by clicking the library button, we want to go to code again, and um, external access, show website. Okay, so now we want to just drag the show website icon right into here okay so now we've dragged the code for show website showing a website into this code now right now this will open google dot or apple dot com this is good so far so now we can click run and it'll open it up and we click search and it opens apple dot com 
It's pretty cool, right? Um, but we're going to want to change this to google.com. And now we have to learn how Google's search engine works. We want to go to Safari. Now go to google.com. And all this code will be in the description. So if you don't get this, just copy the code from the description. You want to, let's, let's just search Mac Kids 101 on Google. Okay. So you see all this stuff from Mac Kids 101. And you can see at the top, the address is google.com slash search question mark HL equals EN ampersand question mark Q equals Mac Kids 101. So you can see this is kind of complicated. So I'll just show you what I'm going to do. Obviously, this is where what the text you're searching is going to go. So if I changed in the URL Mac Kids 101 to be high, it would search high. So say I copy this. I'm going to copy up to the equals right before high, as you can see. So copy. And now later in my code, I'll put whatever they searched instead of high. So I'll copy right up to there. Go back here. Paste that in right there instead of apple.com or http www.apple.com. So that's good. So as you can see, this is what it says. Now, how do we put this text field value that we got with our code into this website URL, which we're setting with our code? Well, outside the quotation, the close quotation for this website URL, you do space plus space, and then the name of the variable you want to add to that string. In my case, it's text field value. Okay, great. So now I've added website URL is going to be the real Google search thing. So here is my completed cone code in my click handler event. So what we want to do now is run and we'll search Mac Heads went along with our application and click search. And what do you know? It's opened up Google, it searched Mac Heads on on. It's great. So here's our search widget. Back in Dash Code, we can click the red stop button to stop running it. And now here's something cool. So we've designed this um, Google search thing. So now you can do really a search for any website if you want to. Like instead of that Google code for searching with Google, you can go to Apple's website, search hi. And you can make your application search for Apple's website. So I can just change this right here. So now instead of the website URL being HTTP Google.com, it's HTTP colon slash slash www.apple.com slash search slash question mark Q equals text field value. Now let's run it. Mac Kids 101. Let's search it on Apple's website. Zero search results found from Mac Kids 101. That makes sense. I don't see why there would possibly be any search results. But anyway, so that's pretty cool. Now, I'll just save this and call this Google Search Widget. Save it. But anyway, you can edit the icon. You can do whatever you want with dash code. And it's pretty cool. So, um, thank you for watching Mac Kids 101. Subscribe and goodbye.